Hi folks, Rich Bassini from RJBassini.com. Just trying to do a quick little demo on a tape recorder I have. It's a vintage Sony transistorized tape recorder. And I want to go over it really quick with you just to show you that it works. You know, point out some flaws on it and then, um, you know, I'll, I'll do a little demo on it, okay? So let's get started. Here we have the Sony transistorized tape recorder. I'm going to move the webcam down so you can see it a little better, folks. Okay. Now over here, I thought this was a magic marker, mar you know, magic marker, you know, uh, marking here, but it feels like it could have been a burn mark. I don't know. That's what it feels like to me. If it is, I don't know why somebody would have done it. I don't know what the purpose would be, but I don't know. That's what it feels like. But anyway, I like to point out the flaws on an item before I, uh, you know, to give the potential buyer an opportunity to make a decision. Is this to, is this to want this item or not? Um, the overall condition of it it's pretty clean not bad you know considering um for its age i don't know how old it is so i really couldn't tell you if it was made in the 40s or 50s or the 20s i don't know um it has a little condition over here like i said you see you got this marking over here i'm going to turn it around and over here you have a little indentation a little chip here see here but if you take notice the fabric where the speaker would be, I believe the speaker would be here. It's nice and tack, still, still nice and tight, not, you know, wavy or anything or, or weak, you know, like where sometimes when it gets really you know, worn, sometimes it, it'll, uh, it, goes, it gets wavy and stuff. This is nice and tight. Um, here, back here, you have your, your little uh, things here, rubberized legs here for it, okay? This here, it says over here, AC defeat, I don't know, connector setting. Um, and you open it up, the only thing I see there is like it looks like a little plug in there, two-prong plug that goes in there. It could be for the light. I, I'm not really sure. But that's what you got going on there. You can see the fan over here. Okay. Um, let's see what else we got here. I'm going to hold it up and show you the model number on it. I'm going to put it next to the screen. It is the Sony transistorized uh, tape, well, Sony tra tape recorder model 101, it looks like, over here. And here you go. Okay, let's see. Can you see a little bit of there, folks? And you can see it was made in uh, Tokyo, Japan. There you go. It was made in Tokyo, Japan. Again, I don't know when it was made, so I couldn't help you out with that. That's the AC input, and we're going to plug it in a little bit. Um, the overall body on it, uh, you can see it's it's fairly, well, It's it's got age to it. It's vintage, you know. It's an old... It's an old tape recorder. Um, there's no doubt about it. The handle here um, is pretty nice. It's pretty good, to be honest with you. The condition of the handle is pretty good. Um, the springs in there that that make it retract, they're pretty tight because um, you can see this thing goes right back to its normal shape. And the leather, usually when it's old like this here, uh, these things are usually frayed or they're falling apart. But this is st this one here is in pretty good condition. You got a class lock here locking mechanism you pull down it drops like that there i don't know what they call this but i call it a class whatever and it's well made too you know it's more metal when you close it up you know you got that here's an external speaker looks like input okay all right there my webcam is focusing in and out folks i'm sorry about that uh i'm trying to think of anything else i could tell you let's see what else here okay you got the speaker over there and I think you got a little speaker over here because you got that same fabric over here. Okay. Here you got the mic set up. And here you got the for a radio. Okay. I don't know what they mean by radio there. I don't know if you connect it to a radio. I'm not really sure. Okay. Anyway, uh, now that you've seen the rest of that, let me open it up. Okay. And this is what we got here. Now, you're going to notice, like, this stuff here is not rust or anything, folks, just to let you know. Um... That is coming, that, that little dirt marks over there, that's coming from this. It's uh, dried up, and every time it gets closed, it drops off the uh, little sediments in there. I'm just going to get a little brush and move it out over there and put it near a little garbage can over here just to get it away, show you that it ain't what you think it is. I want you to think it's, um, you know, rust or anything. It's just a dirt mark, you know, from that dirt, but it's from that. When that little thing in there, that little spongy thing, it's all dried out. But it's not, this is, considering, this is pretty clean in here uh, itself, you know. It's not too bad. 
Okay. But then again, you gotta, you gotta understand through the age of this thing. Okay, so now, I don't wanna keep doing this. I'm gonna do this demonstration once because I don't wanna keep messing around with this here. Here's the, what you got over here, you got your mic, okay? This is the mic for the uh, unit. You pull in, you plug in on the side over there, well, the other side. And uh, these are speak, I don't know if these wires connect to something here. I'm not really sure. There's no manual with this here, so I really can't give you too much information on it. But the purpose of this video is to show you that it does power up, it does function the way it should. Um, I have no reel-to-reel -reel tapes to actually show you play or to record. I don't know if you plug this in if it's going to record because I believe this is the mic. You would have to test that on your own. I, again, I would have loved to done it, do it, but I don't have any tapes, reel-to-reel -reel tapes to do this here. Um, but anyway, for, the, for demonstration purposes, I'm going to remove the AC power cord without breaking that plastic in there. Okay. All right. I'll take this off. And again, I just, I'm just i just doing this, folks, just to show you that it does work. Uh, this is what the inside of this thing looks like. And again, here I took the power cord out. Okay, so you do have a power cord, and that's what the inside looks like. All right, that's your mic. Sony mic there. Uh, let me go over here. See, it is, a, it is a Sony mic. Okay. And that plugs into, oh, right over here. I'm sorry, it plugs right over here. Too bad I couldn't test that. I'd love to test it out, but I don't have the UF tapes. Okay, so now I'm going to plug this in. Let's see where that thing is. I think it's on the other side here. Two prong. Okay, let's turn it this way. I'll tell you one thing, it's made very well, folks. It's it's really heavy. I, I don't know the weight of it. I'm guessing it's probably close to 20 pounds, I would think. It's, but it's pretty heavy. Okay, and I have a receptacle here, or actually an extension cord. Plug it in, okay, and you can see it's already on. I think I had it on the last time. Okay, let me just show you right here, folks. That was for me the last time I had it turned on. Okay, I like to show you stuff from start to finish. Okay, so in order to turn it on, which you've already seen it on, you would turn this on. Okay, as you can see, the lights on there. Um, as you can see here, on the unit itself, it has like little, a uh, little diagrams here. If you turn it this way. You can see this guy's moving here. Okay, that's what those little indications over there. You can see that there. Okay, when you put it, I guess that's neutral. When you turn it the other way, this guy goes. Okay. All right. And then to make this play, I think you got to go this way to make it work. There you go. And as you can see, the wheel's turning. Okay. So I guess that would be, if it was playing, I would think that's how it would work. Yeah, I guess it would go through this way. And then it was with JB uh, that would be doing. It's really made well, folks. Very quiet, as you could hear. Okay. I don't know what these are. I left them on there. Okay. I don't know what this thing does here. I don't know if you could stop it. I don't want to play around with it, folks. I don't want this thing to get damaged. Um, it's got a record level here. And it's got this lever up here. I'm not sure what this does. It makes a little noise there, but I'm not sure what that is. But uh, I think, I think actually, if you had a reel-to-reel -reel tape to play it on here, I think it would play. Um, that's all I can really tell you on it. The reason why, like I said, I'm doing a demo is to point out the flaws on it, the, uh, the condition of it. Uh, you could see for it's vintage. It's old looking. You know, I mean, it's very old. And the body itself on it, I didn't put any cleansers on it. I'm not going to put any cleansers on it because I'm afraid I'm going to damage anything or maybe take any finish off on it that has on there so um the way you're seeing it is the way i the way i picked up is the way you're going to get it um i don't want to put like i said i don't want to put any harsh cleaners on this or anything uh you know i'd rather leave it in its full you know the way the way it looks you know what i'm saying uh and that's basically what i can tell you and i'll just show you one more time again i'll hold it like this and just let you know you got a recording level over here i'm not sure what this level does here folks i don't know um and here we go Okay, you can see that works. I don't know what these are, but that's the way it came with. I'm going to give them to you. Okay. And you can see that go. You know, the reason why I do this, folks, these, these demos, is to let you know you're not getting something dead. <laughs> you know, when it comes to your house, it's going to be, it's you, you know it's going to work. Let me just see one last thing over here, folks. And I want to make sure, okay, that's what I was curious about. I want to make sure the fan's working. As you can see, the fan is working. And we're going to test it out right now when I power it off. Okay. There you 
you go. And one more time. There you go. Okay. So now, folks, this is all I can tell you about this tape recorder. I guess it's, oops, so yeah. Um, it does power up. I'm sure, it, I'm sure it does play. If you want to do any research on it, it's the Sony Tape Recorder Model 101. And uh, it was made in Tokyo, Japan by the Sony Corp. I don't have the year on it. I don't know the year when it was made, so I can't help you. So if anyone's got any questions or they want to send me emails asking me questions like as far as, far as when it was made, I don't know. I couldn't tell you. I really wish I could tell you all that information. If I knew, i put it in the description. But this is basically what we got, folks. Um, I hope this information helps you out in, uh, making, you know, in, in making your buying decision. Um, you know, it's totally up to you as to whether you want it or not. Uh, if I left anything out, I'm sorry, folks. Uh, that's all I could tell you about it. But thanks for uh, stopping by. And um, if this is the first time coming to my channel and uh, you want to be updated on new items I get, I pick up. Uh, I do sneak peek videos, demo videos, and intro videos. This is like a very brief demo video just to show you that it does work. And uh, if you like what I do, please subscribe to my channel. And uh, if you thought this, this videotape, or I should say this video was helpful, uh, please give it a thumbs up. But uh, thank you very good. Thank you very much for stopping by and uh, have a great day. Take care now. Bye.